Now, do you guys want to play Destiny 2 early? Well, here's your chance. If you want to win one of my weekly beta call giveaways for Destiny 2, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Winners will be picked and announced on a Sunday. So the more you comment and like my videos, the more of a chance you've got of winning one of these beta codes. Good luck. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today we're going to check out Zerza Loot for the 21st of April 2017. Now he's located in the tower this week, just past the speaker's room, so you yeah, land in the tower and you just want to head left and you will see him in this corner right here. Okay, so let's check out what this motherfucker has. Okay, so we have a legacy engram costing 31 strange coins. Remember people, this will only give you that year one uh, gear or year one weapons. So if you want anything from year two, don't ever buy these things. Okay, for the Titan we have an insurmountable school fort, dropping at 350 defense, offering 57 intellect, 39 strength, or 38 intellect and 59 strength. Gain an additional melee charge, gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness, and gain bonus melee on orb pickups. And this will cost you 13 strange coins. Now this is not tier 12 compatible. I'll put on screen now in the top left corner an actual guide of what you need armor wise if you want to actually take a screenshot of it so you can use it for future reference. Uh, but none of the actual gear this week he has brought is tier 12 compatible. Okay so for the Hunter, we have the Shinobu's Val, these are gotten, that's actually pretty damn decent for PvP. Um, again, costing 13 strange coins and dropping out of 350 defense. This one offering intellect discipline, um, improved skip grenade and gain an additional skip grenade charge. Increased grenade throw distance and increased reload speed with auto rifles. For the Warlock, we have the Nothing Manacles, again, Great for PvP, um, intellect discipline this one, 13 strange coins and 350 defense, enables scatter grenade tracking and gain an additional scatter grenade charge, quite good to be honest, increase grenade throw distance and increase reload speed with auto rifles. Weapon of the week we have the Surus Regime or the Suwas Way more fucking gym. actually using this in PvP and it's not bad now, it's actually quite a decent weapon, I mean obviously it's no hand cannon, no palindrome, no ice Luna but if you want to have a bit of fun you want to use something different you want to step outside the box and play PvP in a different way to everybody else then the Suicide Regime may suit your needs it really will um, costing 23 strange coins but it's definitely worth it if you don't have it already okay so the weapon bundles this week we have the Zalo Supercell and Shock Hazard which you can see on screen now and we have the Dragon's Breath and Tiger Shark Tiger Shark actually being a new Age of Triumph weapon ornament which I didn't actually think as they're sold, but obviously he does right here, so yes. And guys, that's basically it. Besides these glass needles, uh, three of coins, heavy ammo packs, and these vehicle upgrade coil thingy thingy, plasma dry thingy thingy, whatever the fuck they are. Uh, but that is it, guys. Um, not a great week, to be honest. I mean, obviously, if you're a PvP player and you enjoy fucking grenades everywhere, then it's not too bad for you, but I'm guessing you've probably already got these gauntlets already. But guys, that is it for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. As always, guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the